c of x equals 78,400 plus 800x plus x squared, where c of x is the total cost and x is the production level. A, we want to find the production level that will minimize the average cost, and also B, find the minimum average cost. We need to be careful here because we're asked to minimize the average cost, not the total cost. So for the first step, we want to find the average cost function, where the average cost function is equal to the total cost function divided by x, where C of x represents the total cost and x represents the production level. So the average cost function is equal to C of x divided by x, or in our case, 78,400 plus 800x plus x squared divided by x. So because we're dividing by a monomial, we want to divide each term in the numerator by x. So we have 78,400 divided by x plus 800x divided by x plus x squared divided by x. So the average cost function is equal to 78,400 divided by x plus, this would just be 800, plus this would just be x. And now to minimize the average cost function, our first step is to find the critical numbers for this function, which occurs where its derivative is equal to zero or undefined, or when the average cost and the marginal cost are equal. We're going to use method A and determine when the derivative of this function is equal to zero or undefined. Notice here we have x to the first in the denominator, so if we move this up to the numerator, it would change the sign of the exponent. So I can also write the average cost function as 78,400 x to the power of negative one plus 800 plus x. And now we'll find the derivative function on the next slide. So the derivative of the average cost function would be equal to the derivative of the first term. We're going to multiply by negative one, so we have negative 78,400, and then subtract one from the exponent, that'd be x to the power of negative two. The derivative of 800 would be zero, the derivative of x would be one, so we have plus one. So if we want to, we could write this as negative 78,400 divided by x squared. If we move this back to the denominator, it'll change the sign of the exponent, and then we have plus one. Notice how this would be undefined when x equals zero, but when x equals zero, the production level is zero, and the average cost function is undefined. So we'll set this equal to zero and solve for x, to determine the critical numbers. Let's go ahead and add this fraction to both sides of the equation. That would give us one equals 78,400 divided by x squared. And now here we can multiply both sides of the equation by x squared, or make this a proportion by putting this over one and cross multiplying. Notice one times x squared must equal one times 78,400. So again, we'd have x squared equals 78,400. And now we'll square root both sides of the equation. But again, since x represents the production level, we know x can't be negative, so we're only concerned about the principal square root or the positive square root. So now we'll go to the calculator. And we have the square root of 78,400. So x equals 280. So our only critical number is x equals 280. So this should be the production level that will minimize the average cost, but to be sure, we should use either the first or second derivative test to make sure the function is minimized rather than maximized at this x value. Let's go ahead and use the second derivative test to determine if the function is concave up or down at x equals 280. So here's the first derivative. So the second derivative would be equal to, so to find the derivative of the first term, we're going to multiply by negative two. That's going to give us 156,800 x to the power of negative three. The derivative of one would be zero. Let's go ahead and write this as 156,800 
divided by x cubed. So notice how when x is equal to 280, this would be positive or greater than zero, which means the function will be concave up, which is good news because that means at this critical number, we have a low point or a minimum function value. So to answer part A, a production level of 280 will minimize the average cost. And now for part B, to find the minimum average cost, we'll evaluate the average cost function here when x equals 280. Let's go ahead and write the average cost function back in the form of 78,400 divided by x plus 800 plus x. So the average cost when x equals 280 would be 78,400 divided by 280 plus 800 plus 280. Now we'll go back to the calculator. Notice how this sum here would be 1,080. So the minimum average cost is $1,360. I hope you found this helpful.